Welcome back to what we call Pastor Talks here at the Christian Church Loudoun County. I take time every week and I dive into the Word and I share my time in the Word with you in the hopes that it would be an encouragement to you. Uh, I believe the Word exists as an encouragement to us so that we can go and be an encouragement to others. Today, I want to talk about producing goodness. Um, it's a really simple concept. It's very important. In Jesus' ministry, we find him going from place to place, person to person, situation to situation, and in all of those places, producing good things. Um, he provides healing when people are sick. He feeds people when they're hungry. He teaches them when they have questions. He listens to them when they're speaking. Um, doesn't put people down for thinking differently than him. He doesn't um, he doesn't tell them um, that where they are is the wrong place to be until it's become something that is a problem for the way that other people are seeing him. There starts to be this stirring among the religious leaders that Jesus is using the power of the enemy uh, in order to do these good things. And Jesus goes on to explain um, that what they're seeing is the work of God. And what they're saying is is not good and it's not life-giving. And, and that's coming from the depths of them. Matthew chapter 12, starting, by, starting in verse 33, <clears throat> reads this. Either make the tree good and its fruit good or make the tree bad and its fruit bad for by a tree is known by its fruit you brood of vipers how can you speak good when you are evil for out of the abundance of the heart the mouth speaks what jesus is speaking in regards to the people that are around him, whether they know God or they don't, is life-giving. And what the people that are around Jesus are speaking about him is that he is demonic, essentially, that he is evil, that what he's doing is bad. And so either call a bad tree bad because it produces bad things or call a tree good because it produces good things. How can you say that you're speaking good when you're clearly speaking things that are not good. Keep reading in verse 35. The good person out of his good treasure brings forth good, and the evil person out of his evil treasure brings forth evil. I tell you on the day of judgment, people will give an account for every careless word they speak. For by your words you will be justified, and by your words you will be condemned. We need to produce good. And we produce good from what we speak, from what we speak to other people, from what we speak to ourselves. There are things that you might be saying about yourself or things that you might be saying about that person on the other side of the country. It doesn't matter. But what comes out of us is evidence of where our heart is at. And so whether we like something or we don't like something, whether we agree with something or we don't agree with something, what comes out of us should be life-giving. It should be good. And that will be the condition of where our heart is at. And if what comes out of us is negative or destructive or divisive, then we may not be in a good place. And we need to examine that. And so examine yourself today in the importance of producing things that are good. There is no point in producing things that are not good. There, there is no benefit in putting a person down or making your point known. The best thing that we can do with our life and the best use of our time is to look at the person that's across from us and encourage them that they are cared for by you that they are listened to by you and to not try and push an agenda, not to try and convince them one way or the other about this thing, that thing, or the other thing, but rather to just 
be present with them and produce goodness between people to produce goodness in a situation that may be bad. You may be the only person in a situation that could make a difference. Be encouraged knowing that that could be you today. I'm gonna pray that over you and I hope that the rest of your day is blessed. Father, thank you that by your spirit, we can produce good. It's all thanks to you. And so it's in your name that we pray, amen.